Hey guys, I'm Carrie Coakley, the Education and Support Manager here at Open Implants. Uh, today I'm going to go through the implant libraries that we have available. So now that you're in the three shape order form, you go ahead and select the tooth number. So then you're going to go to the screw retain option because we are creating a screw retain crown. Select the category option. So you're going to drop down the menu. And you'll notice there's a few different types of open implant libraries there. Open implants engaging titanium bases are used for single units. The non-engaging bases are used for bridges and the multi-units um, are for multi-unit types such as Nobel. Once the right category is selected, you're going to select the, um, the right implant system. So we're going to use the Open Implant Zimmer Screw Vent Library as an example today. So the last thing you're going to want to consider is the implant height. Um, this might require a little bit of pre-planning on your part. Note that you are selecting the final height at this step. So if you have a 10 millimeter tie base and you wanted to make it to a 6 millimeter tie base, that's the selection that you're going to pick. Now let's move on to the multi-unit selection. This option is for non-engaging implant caps compatible with the Nobel multi-unit titanium inserts. As to the heights up to 12 millimeters. The very bottom is for immediate loads. It will uh, give you more space between the titanium base and the final crown. That concludes the video on how to select the proper library. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call here at Open Implants um, or shoot me an email, uh, ccoakley at openimplants.com. Thanks for watching and I hope you find this video helpful.